Today we are looking at when comedians take their jokes too far and we're referencing that to the iconic Oscar slap. Recently, the issue of mental health has been brought to the fore when a well-known Hollywood actor Will Smith walked up on stage and slapped an American comedian Chris Rock. Chris Rock had made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved hair, referencing her to the 1997 movie G.I. Jane. Lord! Jada, I love you. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it. Alright? <laughs> the movie starred Demi Moore, the ex-wife of Bruce Willis, as Jordan O'Neill, the, the first woman to undergo a Navy SEAL training and had performing many of her male counterparts for her to solidify a position for the Navy SEAL role she needed to shave off her hair then becoming G.I. Jane and in the process completely hiding her femininity welcome to my channel Shanice Digest I welcome on board my new subscribers while well, I continue to appreciate my returning subscribers, this is the channel where we get to speak up and say it as it is. Today's video is not all about the slap because we are really focusing on when comedians take their jokes too far. When is it an overreach? That's what we'll be talking about today. Like I said, the video is not about the slap which I believe has been exhaustively documented, but its focus is on one's state of mind, one's mental health condition. Do you think comedians should do their own work very well about the individuals they want to joke about, their object of satire? Even a former president must have done his own work very well for him to determine the state of mind of his object of satire. Take a listen. Please be seated. You know, I always complain about these, tele, uh, these uh, microphones. <clears throat> because um, when you have a tall man before you, and then they have to lower the microphone when you come in, it indicates how short you are. <laughs> But uh, when I talk of how short I am, I saw El Rufai smile. <laughs> when he was introduced, he got up and he was still not taller than those who are sitting. And compare that with this. He can't win! <laughs> he is praying that Will Smith wins, like, please, Lord! You can see the different temperament is based on one's mental state. The first video shows the object of satire having both social and emotional IQ, while in the second video, the object of satire seems to lack both social and emotional IQ, which explains its overreach reaction. It also shows that Chris Rock didn't do his own work very well to determine the state of mind of his object of satire. Whereas the former president, who is not even a professional comedian, sure looks like he did his own work very well to determine the state of mind of his object of satire. Anyway, using the Oscars incident to drive home a focus on one's mental health condition, Jada Pinker Smith in 2016 had revealed to the world that she was battling with alopecia, an immune disease that causes hair loss. She talked about how traumatic it was for her getting into the shower only to find her hair falling off, and for a woman who adores her looks and who enjoys touching her hair and now can no longer do so, it could be mentally depressing. And for someone to make a joke out of such touching condition, it could trigger an overreach reaction. And you know in Hollywood, a woman's appearance and attractiveness 
is seen in her head. And she being an actress herself, her physical attraction is connected to how many jobs she gets called up to do. And this can also affect a paycheck. And this brings us to the issue of comedians taking jokes too far. There was this row recently between Yubi Franklin and Bovi. When Yubi Franklin had dragged Bovi on social media for making a joke about these four kids bought by four different baby mamas, he had warned Bovi. And he said this, This is the way now. You yab me and I yab you with the receipt of things the world don't know about you. Comedy should not be used as a decoy to disrespect people on national TV. You did this at the last year's Eddie's and I sent your friends and close allies to warn you. Do not try it again. I'm struggling with stuff and I'm trying to put myself together. And for you to go on live TV to talk about my kids? Bovi, until next time. Oh man, look at the state. Look, mom. Make sure your daughter don't end up like this. And make sure your son don't end up with a girl like this. What kind of piece of shit are you? You're gonna come up here and fuck me up. And you wanna come here and fuck me up. You threatening me on stage. That's a comedian being threatened on stage for making defamatory jokes. Comedians should know that stretching their jokes to one's family could cause a trigger. You can joke all you can about me, but when it comes to my family, man, you've got to stay off. That's off limits. Is it because comedians are legally shielded from prosecution? That's why they make defamatory jokes. Are they even legally shielded? Even if they are legally shielded, is that why they have to be callous and insensitive with their jokes about their object of satire? Drop your comments, guys. Let's talk. This is where I draw the curtain for today. If you like my video, please do give it a thumbs up. Strike on that notification bell so that you get to be notified whenever I upload a new video. Drop your comment down below and do not forget to subscribe to this channel. Stay awesome and I'll see you in a bit. Peace out.